everyone, Tommy Drone here. This is the Sansico D15 Mini Foldable Drone for beginners and intermediate flyers as well. It's a little bit higher quality drone than most. It's a really good quality drone. In fact, looking at the controller, this controller is not cheap. It's a good feeling controller. I really like it and I was impressed to see it has a button to insert your three AAA batteries, not included comes with two proprietary batteries, each battery giving you 10 minutes of flight time per battery. Also comes with your charging cable, additional props, screwdriver, and even prop guards. And the drone itself is foldable and the legs lock into place. The batteries are easy to charge, just plug it into the side and it goes right inside the drone. Very simple, very easy. The camera is adjustable, so you don't adjust the camera on your controller. You adjust it manually before beginning flight time. And you press the button to turn on the drone. Very simple. To find your Sensco drone app, it uses a scanner box. Just hold your camera up, press camera, and it'll take you right to the Sensco app. As you see here, very simple. Takes me right to my app, install the app, and you're up and running. Put on the drone guards is very simple. Simply slide them into place. They lock in and, to my surprise, I'm able to fold the drone up even with the drone guards on. When you have to replace your props, you, it's easy to identify. You can see two stripes on the left and, and bottom right, and one stripe there. Kind of cool. Here's your button for taking photographs, emergency landing, headless mode, takeoff, trim, tricks, and this is your speed button right here, slow, medium, or fast. Very simple. What I'm gonna do now, though, is I'm gonna hook up the uh, drone to my uh, Wi-Fi, go to Wi-Fi, and let's look for the uh, drone. Let's go to the Wi-Fi. There it is. Sansico comes right up. Look at that. How nice. Click that. Open up the app. Hit connect. And I should see the image. There it is. There's our image. Pretty cool. And I can start taking video. The video will be sent from the drone right to my phone here. All right. So to take off, you just hold the button down for one second. And there we go. Pretty simple. And here we go. So it flies really well. I'm kind of surprised that this is not a GPS because it flies really good. Look how stable that is. I'm going to trim it. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Nice and stable. That is awesome. Look at that. I have very little breeze out here. Backwards, forwards. And this is speed one right here. Let's go and try speed two. Very nice. Now I'm noticing this drone's a little hard to see, even though the light's bright. I mean, the light's sort of bright, that is. Flying just now lost signal, so it just fell. That was a big crash. Look at that. That was a real big crash. That wasn't very far. I was probably uh, 60 feet away just now. Maybe 70 feet or 80, eh, maybe 80 feet was the distance and I lost signal before it fell. So it tells me the range is probably around 60 to 80 feet. All right, here we go again. I'm gonna start recording. Okay, I'm now recording. I'm gonna put on level three. That's level three, I'm gonna go up. I hope you guys can see it. I'm recording myself right now. So it looks like if I go too far, I'll lose signal. If I go too high up. Yeah. I we lose that signal, that's not good. It looks up there high. Flies good though. I got a nice breeze out here and it's doing good. Look at that. All right. Let's try a photograph. All right. 
got my pictures. So this is a pretty cool drone, guys. This is a Cisco D15. I kind of like it. The only advice I'll give you, one advice I'm going to give you guys for this drone, you don't want it to hit you. If it hits you, the blades do hurt. I had it run into me. It hurt. I was surprised how much it hurt. So uh, be careful. Um, because even though it's a tiny little thing, the blades will hurt. At one point I was flying and it did crash into the field. I couldn't find it, so I had to use my phone to identify where the drone was. So I do recommend if you're gonna fly this thing, because it's so small and black, it's easy to lose, and especially if it lands into tall grass, you're gonna have a hard time finding because these lights just are not bright enough in my opinion. All right. So this is your flip button right here. If you wanna do a flip. Oh, neat. Let's do that again. Here's a flip. Ready? Ready? Back flip. Very cool. To emergency stop, you're gonna press the emergency stop button right here. And just hold it down and it drops. Okay, let's go ahead and try orientation. This is called headless mode. You hit this button, and now it's gonna be headless mode, and we have that annoying beep. What's nice about Headless Moon, now Headless Moon seems to work. Yeah, look at it, it's working fine. See, I'm controlling it now. And I'm gonna turn it away from myself and go away from myself. Go this way. Headless Moon works really well with this. Um, that's cool. So the way Headless Moon works is basically you uh, direct it based on where you're taking it. Uh, yeah, Headless Moon works really well with the uh, D15. Very nice. Very nice. Look, I'm going away from myself. Now I'm coming towards myself. I could do without that annoying beep, but it definitely is working. I'm just going to turn headless mode off. Let's go away from myself. Headless mode off. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. So we have our, our landing as well as going to try the landing. This thing's a lot of fun. Land. Hold down the landing button. And there it goes, coming in for landing. Very nice. So it's the Cisco D15, kind of nice, I kind of like it. If you think about buying it, I do like it, guys. It's a fun drone, it's not perfect, but it flies good, has good power. Now there's absolutely no wind out here. I like the drone guards a lot. It's nice, I recommend it.